How are you today, my friends? Mr. Green here, and i uh, got another review for you. Um, I recently just picked up this Sublina, Subliba, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but uh, it's a, a grid tie power inverter. Um, the company was willing to send me one so I could do a quick review on it, so uh, I said, yeah, go ahead. Uh, I have uh, 500 watts, uh, I guess it's 520 watts of solar. Um, so I figured I might as well be feeding back into the grid and help my hydro bill. So this is the packaging right here, uh, really nicely packaged, um, you know, making sure that, uh, nothing rattles around in there. Um, you get the, uh, power cord that plugs into a North American plug here. Um, I'm going to pull this out of the box here, Let's see if I can get you set up. So, here it is out of the box. I haven't even opened it yet. They've also sealed it in a bag to make sure that the dust and stuff doesn't get to it. So, get it pulled out here, and there you are. Set it down here. It feels really heavy. So, it's, it must uh, have decent components in it. Uh, I do know a bit about the insides of these, but I'm not going to go into it. There's a lot of uh, people on YouTube that, you know, will go in here and explain every single part to you and if it's good quality or not. So I'm not at that point, so I'm not about to open this up. But, uh, yeah, so you have uh, your hookups right there from your solar panels. And sorry about my dog here. Okay, so... Now you can see here, we'll kind of get a better look at the front of this, uh, 1000 watt grid tie power inverter, uh, DC to AC, pure sine wave, which it has to be to, uh, to go into your grid because you can't use a modified sine wave, it has to be pure because that's what comes in from your, from the, you know, your utility. Uh, 50 to 60 hertz, uh, now this one is set. Now you can get it, you can see all the different ones here, 11 to 28, 22 to 56, and 44 to 112 volts. Uh, my current system, the way I have it wired, uh, my panels are 37 and, or 38 watts, or volts I mean. So mine falls in between the second one, and that's why I've got this power inverter. Now you always, uh, you, would, you would find out what your panels are, and if you're going to run them in parallel or series, and uh, and that will determine which uh, which power inverter you want. So uh, on this side, there is a power light, uh, AC output, and uh, your on off switch. So pretty simple. Um, in this video, I am also going to include uh, the basic setup, and uh, and then we'll hook in the um, uh, watt meter, and uh, then we'll be able to read exactly what I'm getting and I'll wait till a sunny day to actually uh, do that portion of the video so that you guys can actually see it uh, moving in some wattage because right now it's snowing and uh, clouded over so yeah so uh, that's going to be it for this part the next part I will uh, have it mounted up and uh, I'll take you out show you the solar panels and my setup and uh, and then we'll plug it in and we'll test it Okay, my friends, it's uh, the next day now, and uh, it, it is another cloudy day, but it is what it is. Uh, I now have the uh, grid tie inverter all hooked up. Um, so let me kind of walk you through what I did, uh, and then we'll go take a quick look at the solar panels and my setup and uh, kind of what we're getting. Um, so this wire that you're seeing right here is actually goes above this plug and goes outside to the solar panels. So... Um, this is 12-2 direct burial cable. Um, it's not the heaviest gauge cable, and I will probably lose a little bit, but it's only 25 feet long, so it's not too bad. Um, so then I've got them tied in, positive, negative, clearly. Um, nice and simple. Um, and then on the top here, you have your light that's blinking. That means that it's on. And when it hits nighttime, this whole inverter completely shuts off. So that it's not drawing any power or and obviously not producing any power so um yeah that's a nice feature so then yeah your plug just runs from there and then down and i've got it in a watt meter um this watt meter i am 
not happy with. Uh, I will uh, be doing a full review on this tack life uh, in a bit, but uh, that's not today's video. So let's uh, just take a quick look here. The screen on this is really hard to read, but uh, this has been hooked up since yesterday. Um, and there you go. So uh, I'm, right now I'm bringing in about half an amp with 500 watts of solar, which is not very much at all. But it's snowing out right now and it's cloudy, so that's all I'm getting in. Um, since yesterday, about noon when I had this hooked up, I brought in uh, about uh, half a kilowatt. So nothing big, um, but uh, once summer comes and uh, the weather gets a little more sunny every day, it should uh, really up the amount that I'm bringing in. So I will, uh, I'm gonna pause right here and I'm gonna head out and uh, I'll show you the solar panels kind of quick and uh, the setup and the voltage and all of that on there. And uh, that, that'll be the it for, uh, for this review on this uh, 1000 watt grid tie uh, power inverter. So we'll be back here in a second. Okay, my friends, there you can see my solar panel set up. Uh, I'll kind of show you a quick overview of the stand that I built um, and then I'll show you the specs on the back of them but uh, yeah they are normally down at my campsite and they power our uh, off-grid trailer and stuff but uh, I'm at the point now where I want to start running a lot more of my house off of solar so I, uh, I will be contacting the company that sent me this inverter and see if they can uh, maybe do something for me for, uh, for getting some more of those inverters and then I'm gonna get a bunch more panels and uh, just try to cut the cost down on my uh, my hydro bills because they're about $250 a month here and uh, I don't use hydro for heat or anything that's just regular hydro uh, you know regular use stuff um, so yeah these are just 4 by 4s in the corner kind of strapped across cut on angles so that these sit in there now of course I'm not on the perfect angle these should probably be a lot more steep than they are but uh, right now it's just supplementing uh, you know a little bit of power coming into the house uh, so eventually I want to build a moving array with uh, that tracks the sun and uh, so that will be in an upcoming video you know down the road but uh, so yeah then they're just tied in I just crushed down a piece of uh, copper pipe and uh, they're all just tied into this and then the one line goes inside so I'll show you the specs here real quick there's the specs if you want to pause that and take a look uh, 250 watts and uh, the uh, voltage and all of that stuff. So yeah, pretty simple. Um, there's the name brand of the panel. It's HES250. So yeah, very happy with these panels and I probably will be going, uh, I'm thinking maybe with uh, Canadian Solar with, uh, with my next setup. So, uh, but there you go guys. I appreciate everybody checking out my video and uh, yeah, stay tuned and please remember to subscribe and we'll be doing a lot more reviews and uh, and we've got lots of cool builds coming up for the spring. So uh, great uh, talking to you guys all again and uh, yeah, have a great day.